hey y'all welcome back to my channel so before today's vlog gets started you guys i want to tell y'all about another great channel the name of her channel is called marlo plus two you guys i am definitely enjoying her content i have been kind of binge watching her last couple of videos and i'm enjoying all of her videos she's posted you guys she's going to be posting vlogs as well as clean with me's and cook with me you guys and she's so pretty i want you guys to go check out her channel she made this video y'all for the super bowl she did like a cook with me for the super bowl y'all listen when i tell y'all every meal in that video look delicious y'all gotta go y'all gotta go check it out she is definitely motivating me y'all i seen those meatballs and i was like wait a minute now wait a minute see i need that in my life y'all definitely go check out her videos definitely go let her know that britney sent y'all and then also some exciting news her family is expecting triplets so i'm definitely gonna be on the lookout for her videos you guys because i definitely want to follow her journey so yeah y'all might as well follow her journey with me once again let her know that britney sent you if you guys want to shout out like her only thing you have to do is comment below or hit me up on social media shout outs are free <music> y'all happy monday, monday. <laughs> it has been a day you guys i still look a whole hot mess y'all like legit look a whole hot mess so i want to come up here and show you guys this really quick i think i showed y'all this rug already before but just in case i didn't i got me a pink rug it is a bath rug but it will be going at my sink i like it because it's like that little memory foam so i got that and then yesterday no saturday before we left to go to the beach um, my curtains came in and they kind of match yeah they kind of match that color so my curtains came in so um these two are going to go over there y'all excuse the flowers just excuse anything over there that look like it don't belong so anywho <laughs> these two curtains is going to go over there and then this one is going to go over there but um what size did i get it one of them is supposed to be shorter well, if not, I can always, like, cut it and then hem it up. I can do it that way. So, it's no problem. These curtains was only $5.84, I think, you guys. They were under $6. So, let me just give y'all this update really quick. So, Dante's bed was supposed to come. His bed and his mattress was supposed to come today. Um, Y'all, it's just... It's, I mean, it's supposed to come yesterday. Finally. It's been a mess. They claim they tried to deliver it. Nobody was home. I was home the whole time. You guys had to call FedEx. FedEx claimed that they came here. And I'm like, ain't no way y'all came here because my front door was open. This was yesterday. I was home all day. So then they were like, um, contact Walmart so to make sure that they had everything correct. So I'm like, y'all don't see the address on y'all side. And it's the address that matched my house. Anywho, so contact Walmart. Walmart was just like, give them to the day to deliver it. Y'all, please know why these people are supposed to deliver my stuff today. They're going to put a little notification out. That the delivery has been held because one of the packages was damaged today. Because it wasn't damaged yesterday, you guys. It was damaged today. So, therefore, the mattress it, the mattress was damaged. The bed, nothing was wrong with that, right? Okay. Y'all didn't need to deliver that, y'all. They put that on hold as well. Contact Walmart. Wasn't well, fussing. But I was pissed. Contact Walmart. Got, spoke with some girl. She was real nice. She really couldn't help me. I needed somebody else. Um, Got super fast on the phone. Supervisor was like, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. We're going to mail you out another bed and a mattress. I said, please don't have FedEx be the one to deliver it. This isn't the first time that FedEx, that I've had problems with FedEx, you guys. This is not the first time. I promise you it won't be the last time. Um, I had issues with them when they delivered my dressers. They set my dressers out there in the yard, and I had to go out there and get Dante to help me move my dressers in the house. Bay would help me, but he was at work, and my dressers was in the yard. The box of dresses was in the yard. Like, the box was probably just about the same length as this trampoline box. It was in my yard, y'all, sitting outside the yard. I was pissed. Anywho, that's besides the point. So, I talked to the supervisor at Walmart. Um, he said that he's going to get in my, med, my bed and my mattress re-delivered. Because it's for Dante, you guys. I know I've had a good bit of new subscribers. Right now, you guys, Dante has a bump bed. Um, if y'all want to have his bump bed, look, just go back a couple of balls and y'all will see it. I'm upgrading Dante to a queen size bed because Dante is taller than me. Uh, and I feel like he just need a little bit more space. You know, he's a growing boy. He's going to be 13 this year. So I'm like, might as well. It's about time for him to get a bigger bed. So we're switching out the bump bed for a queen size bed. That's the bed that I ordered. 
So, um, Walmart's going to re-deliver me a bed and a mattress. The guy said it will come in two days. So, hopefully Wednesday. If not Wednesday, then Thursday. I told him to make sure that FedEx is not the people who bring my mattress and my bed. And he said he will make sure that he put in the notes that FedEx is not going to be the carrier. It has to be UPS or USPS. I know that's a lot, you guys. And he also gave me a credit for my inconvenience, which I was grateful for. Because, sir, yeah. At this point, y'all, I was ready just to be like, and I wasn't ready. I mean, not to be like, I actually said to the guy, I was like, you know what? Give me my money back. Mark on y'all package. Return to sender. And I'll get down to bed from someplace else. And God was like, no, no, we're going to resolve this issue right now. Don't worry about that. And that's what he said. He'll mail me out the bed and the mattress. So, I'm waiting on it to come. And the reason why I didn't go to like a furniture store, you guys, is because for one, like just being completely transparent with you guys, for one, I'm a single mom. And when I say single mom, I mean it's and I pay my own bills. Yeah, people may give you money here and there, like, you know, just to like be nice or whatever. But when it comes down to this household, I take care of this household singly by myself. So, therefore, going to a furniture store and spending eight nine $900 was not ideal for me when I can go online and order Dante's bed online like how I did me and Brandy's bed and his bum bed, you know. So, that's why I ordered online or whatever. It was cheaper. The bed was cheaper. The mattress was cheaper. Um, so, I had everything else, you guys. Like, you know, I'm ordering decorations and stuff. I had all that stuff, but it was just cheaper to order offline. So, in case you guys are wondering. But, yeah, yeah. So, it's been a long day. But happy Monday because we're going to stay in a happy spirit. But so I got these, you guys. I did order me a pink bread box. Woohoo! I'm so excited about it. I'll show y'all that when it comes. Um, I ordered some stickers, decal stickers for Dante Room. Brandy has some. We just haven't put on her wall yet. Um, probably going to focus on doing that this weekend, you guys. Getting their rooms a little bit more set up. It's some stuff on Amazon that I see that I want to order. So I may go ahead and order that stuff as well. Some really cute stuff, you guys. So I may go ahead and order that stuff um, and see when it would get shipped. Hopefully, it's like a... I'm going to have to sign up for Prime, y'all, so it can get shipped on time. Sorry this intro is so long, you guys. It's, it's a long intro. Mama, come say hey. It's a long intro, you guys. But just kind of want to fill y'all in on my crazy Monday. It has been a day. You got bottoms on, Mama? Come in front of me. Come in front of me, baby. Y'all, there she go with the hoverboard. We're doing homework because I picked her up from school. Yeah, they can see you now. Come on. I'm just trying to avoid them seeing mommy because mommy's still looking rough. <laughs> Turn around, girl. They don't want to see your back. Say hey. Why are you on the trampoline like that, mommy? No, I thought my mom was going to tell. Tell your mom's door? Yes. I thought my mom was going to Oh, yeah, y'all. We didn't set a trampoline yesterday. <laughs> Don't start it. We didn't set a trampoline yesterday, you guys, because it rained. Yesterday was Sunday. It rained. Um, it's so, today. Yeah, but babe is at work. So, therefore, I can't set that trampoline up by myself. I don't plan on setting it up all together. So, he's going to set it up. Brady, me and your brother will be outside struggling. Um, so, he's going to set it up. The goal is to set it up tomorrow. So, when he get off, he'll come help me set it up tomorrow. So that it'll be good. Well, he'll come set it up tomorrow. So that'll be good. So stop whining and complaining. Okay, baby girl? Yes, be grateful. Because there's a lot of people and a lot of kids out there who don't have half the stuff you have. So be grateful. Okay? I should not have to remind you that. Right? Yes, ma'am? Yeah, I still got to put up my curtains for that. But I got to get a, um, a little curtain rod thing that I threw out. If y'all curious, just go back a couple of hours. <laughs> I stayed there a couple of hours ago. Okay, y'all, so the mattress came. And this part was open when it got here. So I guess that's what it mean when they say damage. And it's wet. So, I don't know. I'll just look at it. I'm about to cook something real quick. Or cook dinner. Y'all. Um, I'm not going to sweat over it. No, baby, because it's cold outside. I'm not going to sweat it because... The other one is supposed to come on Wednesday or Thursday. I'm going to pull this one out, though, and see how it looks. Pull it out, pull it out the box, I mean, and see how it looks and go from there. But it ended up coming, so I just want to tell y'all that. But the guy said he didn't have the bed frame on his truck, so I guess the bed frame still sitting at the FedEx um, warehouse. But at this point, it is what it is, y'all. I don't know if you guys can tell or not by the angle that I have it, but... 
they're out there putting together the trampoline, babe. And um, that's how they're putting together the trampoline. So hopefully it gets done today. But they got a long way to go, y'all. And it's already 6.16. It's getting not dark, dark, but it's getting dark. So I'll come back with an update and show y'all. So tonight for dinner, I'm doing chicken, fettuccine Alfredo. I got another box because I got a feeling this ain't going to be enough. Almost about full box. So I got my chicken. I had my chicken on thawing. Then I just seasoned it up. Y'all probably can't even tell. I seasoned it up and I had to sit in the refrigerator marinating. And I got my shrimp. So I'm going to just do the shrimp and chicken together. Now, Fredo sauce, I just want to get the kids shrimp. Because they eat shrimp. I mean, if they get shrimp on their plate, then if they don't eat it, they'll push it to the side. So this is the Peel de Vain Tell Off Shrimp. I should have put it in this bowl, but let me get a bowl for this. I feel a little better knowing that um the bed came, whether it's damaged or not. Uh, maybe it's a blessing in disguise. Maybe I can switch out my mattress. I'm probably gonna put majority of the bag. I'm gonna just set my shrimp in some water and I'm gonna cook my shrimp in my frying pan. Now I may do it in my pot because I want the seasonings and the flavors to the, um, be in my Alfredo. Just in case you guys didn't watch my grocery store, my Alfredo. I'm about to let my um, shrimp kind of soak a little bit just to kind of get it unthawed. But yeah, maybe it's a blessing in disguise that the other bed came um, and that the, other, that the other mattress came. And that the first mattress came and the second mattress is going to come. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise. I don't know, y'all, but we'll see. We'll see on Thursday. I already said I told you guys that on um, the little clip, whatever. When I was talking to y'all, I was like, I'm not going to stress about it. I'm not going to worry about it anymore. Whatever happens, happens. Dante know I've been ordering his bed. He knows he's expecting it. So at this point, whenever it comes, I'm pretty sure he'll be happy. It's not that he's uncomfortable with his bunk bed. It's just he wanted something bigger. As he should, you know, he's a grown boy, so. Yeah, y'all, but I'm probably going to, I don't know if I'm going to cook with y'all. I don't know if it's going to be a cook with me. I think I'm just going to cook, and then I'll come back and show you guys how to fool up. That'll work. It's been a long day, y'all. Let me tell y'all. It's just been a long day, and I'm trying to stay positive, and yeah. So, I'm going to use some onion, onion powder. Garlic salt, because I had to buy those, too, so I'm going to use those. Pepper, of course. Seasoning salt, of course. A little bit of Italian seasoning. Chopped onion. And that's probably all I'm going to use. Yeah. And then my olive oil. Use a little bit of olive oil. I don't know. I don't want to do butter. I think I'm going to do butter instead, y'all. I'm gonna do butter. I'm gonna put all those curtains behind me once I get um finished getting most of the stuff for the kitchen. Then I'll put the curtains up. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna put in my Alfredo. I guess you guys can watch me cook. I don't know. I'm trying to give y'all content for the day because I feel like today has just been off. It's just been an off day. And I hate it being an off day because I just hate it being an off day. Yeah. <laughs> we also gonna throw some broccoli in there. And I'm gonna cut these dinner rolls. I got dishes in my sink. <laughs> I really wish I could get my dishwasher here, y'all. <laughs> and now I'm gonna do some yeast rolls. I was gonna do another vegetable. And for right now, I'm gonna try one bag. Sorry. Well, for now, I'm gonna try one bag because I normally just cook with one bag. So I'm gonna try one bag. But if I need to add more, then I'll add more. Y'all, it's actually a little bit bigger than what I thought it was gonna be. It's coming together good. Oh, well, it's never mind. I'm going in the house. So, I don't know what you guys add in y'all water when y'all boiling y'all noodles. But I always do butter instead of oil. So, I'm going to add my butter in there. Got that. And then, when I'm cooking like spaghetti and chicken alfredo, I always add a little bit of garlic salt to my water instead of regular salt. Just to give it that garlic flavor. Okay. But I can't do that while I'm. Right, hold on. So now I add my little garlic salt. And that's good. Got how the noodles tasting yummy too, you know? Not only the meat. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up to a boil and I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking my meats. Okay, y'all, here's the chicken alfredo, y'all. I got my broccoli at it, and it looks so yummy. So I'm about to cook the bread now and clean out this mess that I made over here. So I'm going to do that while I'm um, putting the bread in there and let it, everything sit and marinate. And I got my owl on low, so. And I got to clean up all this stuff that I made, this mess that I made. Okay, y'all, here's my food. As y'all can see, all that broccoli in there, y'all. This broccoli's going to be scrumptious. But I got chicken and shrimp in mine. It's in it some way. So, I'm about to eat my food, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and out today's vlog. They did get the trampoline put up, but the net is, the net, 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 the net is not around the trampoline. So, you got to do that part. So, I'll show you guys the trampoline in tomorrow's vlog. Sorry, this one was so simple, quick, and all of that good stuff. But, y'all, it's been a long Monday. Hopefully, Tuesday will be a little bit better. But, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.